Hi, this is Les Levine, the self-proclaimed voice of truth and reason in Ohio sports. USA Today had an article on attendance problems in Major League Baseball. Cleveland, after a slow start due to bad weather in April, actually had some good things to be said about them, notably how they've improved themselves by cutting capacity at the, at the field from 42,000 to 34,000. At the same time, the 2020 schedule was released and MLB did the Indians no favors at all. With all the southern cities and the dome stadiums, guess where the Indians are going to play their first five games next year? Starting on March 26th, they'll have a five-game homestand with Detroit. Did you hear that? They'll start against Detroit. They'll probably sell out opening day and then have eight or 9,000 the next four games. That doesn't sound fair, does it? Terry Pluto is here. More sports and Les Levine is on the air. From the worldwide headquarters of More Sports and Less Levine, it's a Monday night, it's a brand new week. Good evening, everyone. Welcome once again to More Sports and Less Levine into our 23rd, soon, very soon to be into our 24th year, seen exclusively on Cleveland.com, as is Terry Pluto, the prolific writer who probably has now written, last time I checked was 31, so you're probably up to 47. Books or yeah. pages or words? <laughs> Hey, I'm glad to be here, Les. I'm, I'm you know, glad Les, to have you Les, here. first of all, you read my radio in the morning. Yep. Then in the afternoon, you're still on the radio and you're talking to Freddie Kitchens. And now you're here. And when I walked into this place, they had a tape of you in the, on the little TV and you were over there too. I'm everywhere. You can't That's get right. Everywhere. It is worldwide. So what did you think of Freddie Kitchens? Well, I was going to say, I don't know if he can coach, number yeah. one. Mm -hmm. But I really like them. What is that? So that's the best I can give you. I think that. He took exception to something I asked. I, I asked him uh, if he felt there was any need for him to impress or to sell himself to the team. In other mm -hmm. words, the team has to sell themselves to him. It, does it work in reverse? I really think the answer is yes. But yes, he, it is But yes. he didn't say, he denied it and he, he, he was nice about it, but he didn't like the question. Yeah, I mean, he, he had actually, this is one of the things that I think helped him. You could tell when he doesn't like the question, but he's not personally insulting. I think that's yeah, a good thing. Yeah, he even said that's he even said a couple of times to Andy Baskin and I yeah. that uh, that's a good question, but it that's not the way it works. That's, yeah, it's not the way I feel. And that's fine because, you know, in my in his mind he being true to who he is. A couple of things about um, Kitchens, we can only judge his um, by what we've seen in the training camp. Number one is I think these are the best run training camps I've seen with the Browns since. Take what name the coach. Mangini. You got it. Exactly. In fact, some of the people that are praising Freddie for the, you know, having more contact, more discipline, and making guys run or do push-ups after uh, they commit mental errors are the ones that used to criticize Mangini for that. Well, you saw the flip side of it, you know, Camp Hugh and Camp yeah. Petten. And in my mind, I do like that line, uh, I don't want to practice penalties. He's right. <laughs> Absolutely. I will talk about that yes. in a few minutes because I want to talk about the Indians. They have a nice series coming up with the Red Sox. Red Sox. They should have five straight days of stocking cap night. <laughs> well, <laughs> gloves and booties, yeah, something like that. Yeah. Um, Red Sox won the yes. whole thing last year. Now they're 16 games out in their own division. Where's, what do you make of that? And also, they're only four games above 500. See, right. that's the other thing that's interesting to me. It's not just the Yankees. I mean, the Yankees have played really well, but What's Boston doing with their big payroll? And they've had, you know, David Price has been hurt. They just can't seem to get anything going. Look at Sale, all the money they gave him. Yeah. Six so and you got, you got Rodriguez against Plesak tonight, then Chris Sale tomorrow against Clevenger. Then on Wednesday, it's an afternoon game. Usually the Indians have to say to be determined, but it's the Red Sox right now. Shane Bieber is, uh, has been absolutely fantastic, 12-4 and four on the season. You know, I'm trying to decide, is that their big three, or, you know, who would you put in you there? I don't even know. I, I mean, I hate Sale, I know, is 6-11, and 11, but I still hate facing him. Oh, sure, uh, if he's pitching well. But remember, when he was at the White Sox, we'd have to get his career numbers against Cleveland. It's kind of like Verlander. He had a stretch in there where he, he did not pitch well yeah, he struggled against, against the, the Indians. Indians. 
All right, uh, Ron has emailed us something on the voicemail of Truth and Reason. Let's yes. hear what he had to say. Hi, Les. This is Ron Beyer. Hey, Les. I know you want the Indians to win the division going away by at least eight games. But don't you think with this team it would be better if the Indians and Twins stay close to the end? That way the Indians keep that competitive edge throughout the rest of the season and playoffs. I think they lacked that edge the last few years because they won the division by quite a bit and got complacent. With the pitching staff we have now, we cannot let this opportunity slip away. All right. First of all, I'm going to sound like Freddie Kitchen. That's a good, po it's a good point, Ron. But, no, I, I don't need to be competitive. I don't want to blow out my pitching at the end of the season mm -hmm. in the last week. I, and once the last week comes, I want to be able to set up my pitching. Well, the other thing, uh, there's a difference between last year where, frankly, the race is over like on July 4th. Right. right. And here we are, we're in the middle of August. It's and fun, they're tied. It? And it's they're fun. tied. Yeah. So it would be nice if they could wrap, say, the middle of September, you begin to wrap it up. That would be great. And, you know, September 20th, uh, that's different. But to, I think Ron's overall point, and Chris Antonetti even admitted to me in one of the interviews that did in spring training, that it was a team last year, especially last year, they felt they just didn't have an edge. You know, they right. Really they, well, it. the, the Asino Pui gives you an edge. Yeah. But also, they, it's kind of like the, the season opened, this is in 17. And it was over. Nobody was right. going to challenge them or whatever. Where the Indians have had internal challenges with all their injuries. They've had challenges from the Twins coming out firing like a rocket to begin with. And then you've had the fact that, do you, what do you do with Trevor Bauer? I mean, that, that, that was hanging over. You yeah. know, who, gets, who gets traded, whatever, and then they turn around. Like you said, Pui gives them an age. How, how much, when, when uh, Kluber gets well enough to pitch, and I'm assuming that's going to be in a couple of weeks, two mm -hmm. weeks maybe, how far do you go with him? I mean, they only went two starts with uh, Salazar. You won't see him again, I, I would assume. What? But Kluber, do you give a? You hope you have a bigger edge in the, yeah, and then Yeah. Well, first him? of all, you hope you get him out there four or five times before the playoffs. Right. And then you see how he's throwing. Um, it's a nice Salazar, problem. To have. Salazar's unbelievable. Yeah. It just is. Well, but I blame that partly much on the Indians. I so. mean, they, they're the ones that gave him the money. Right. They knew they gave a guy a money with a questionable arm and a questionable attitude. Other than that, he had a lot going for him. You know, 2016 was a great year for Cleveland sports. Of course, the Cavaliers yeah. won the whole thing, and the Indians went to Game 7 uh, extra innings against right. the Cubs. Let's take a look at what happened in 2016, Terry. Yeah. They picked some guys. All right, Will Benson, this is the draft in 2016. Uh, Nolan Jones, uh, Logan Ice, and then look what they got. Aaron Savali, who pitched mm -hmm. yesterday. Shane Bieber, who's been 12-4, and four, has been terrific. And Zach Plezak, who's uh, doing very, very well. Well, also. now I feel bad, Wes. Why is that? I'm working on a story on this draft oh. <laughs> for a couple days later. Are you really? Yeah, I am. I really am. Well, I, won't I won't suggest that you stole it from me. No, so but, but the interesting thing, you look at this, there's a guy taking the fifth round. His name's not there because he's on the organization. Connor Capel, and you know who he was traded for? No idea. Oscar Mercado. Ah. Mercado, I say that's the turning point of this season when they got Mercado and put him in the second mm -hmm. spot. Center field, they they just got rid of Mart Martin and said, Well, you got an the athlete out there. It's, you know, this is what they hoped they had. Remember when Bradley Zimmer was healthy yes. and young and playing yeah. like crazy in the outfield? This is what they hoped they had. But you go back and look at that draft. Um, the interesting thing, you know, Will Benson's only 21 years old. I think he's got like 20, 21 homers in Class A. Strikes out a lot, but hits a lot of homers and steals a lot of bases. Nolan Jones in the second round was in the Futures game. He's 21 years old. He's playing at Akron. Yeah, he's got power, isn't he? And he's got some power. He's a third. He could be the third baseman of the future, where you right. see Ramirez going in the second. That Brad Grant, who you know was the guy that was behind that whole draft. I mean, he right there, you make your reputation on something like that. Right. How about making a reputation? How about Getting Andrew Miller in 2016, what yeah. that did for the team. Yeah, it really did. And, you know, you go back and look, those are top prospects. None of them are in the big leagues. Right. Uh, and that's four years now. Yeah. Four uh, seasons. Uh, you have uh, Clint Frazier, still a triple A with the Yankees, although I consider him a big, big league player. Justice Sheffield, who was a really a, a high-rising pitcher, he ended up, he's now in double A for Seattle. Mm -hmm. And I, I think a couple of Ben Heller and somebody else have just didn't go. And then... How about this? In August of 2016, the talk was that the Indians got uh, Jonathan Lucroy in a trade. Yeah. And everybody's saying, well, that wraps it up, right? That's, that's. And then it fell apart, and Lucroy got booed every time he came here, obviously. But it turned out to be a good thing. Cool. 
Yeah, I mean, if you look at what he's done but since. How many teams he's been with? Right. And do we have a list of like who they were supposed to be in that trade? Because I do know most of them. Ooh. Okay. Maybe have a couple. Uh, Greg Allen right. was one. Uh, Chu uh, uh, Chang was a Yu Chang. Yu Chang. And um, there was a, a third player. who's was a pretty good player, pretty good name. But we'll, we'll oh, get to that. Out good. But, but it ended up being right. You would have been stuck with this guy, and you would. Who, it's like you forgot how to play. Yeah, you it's know, unbelievable. In 2016, look, I mean, and he was big time. He defensively and everything else. No, nope, the power went away. Everything went away. All right, let me mention something. One of the things that makes makes baseball the great game that it is, mm -hmm. is you're yelling and screaming at Tyler Naquin because he's a major leaguer and he can't get a bunt down. That's two games out of the last yeah. four that he can't get the bunt down. And then he made a tremendous play off the wall, getting it barehanded and, and throwing in perfect throw to the cutoff man. And uh, Lindor made an even more perfect throw to the plate. You're right. Mer Lindor's throw was harder. Yeah. Because your back is turning. totally to it. Right. And, and you have to be right on the money with he's it. He's so good. Oh. I know. Less, it, I mean, if I had to pick a defensive shortstop, Lindor versus Omar, I'd probably take Omar just because he doesn't make the errors. But as a player overall, I no, said defensive no shortstop. And Omar was my favorite, one of my yeah, favorite players. Because, but, but I think uh, Frankie's got better range and a stronger arm. Right. And we have been blessed now to see those two guys there. We've been blessed by pretty good shortstops. Yeah, Actually, even Peralta wasn't bad. Peralta was serviceable. 216-575-0403 is the number to call. Terry Pluto is with us. And uh, you can explore your future and your interests and find a program that puts you on the path to a bright future with Tri-C. Tri-C offers more than 1,000 courses in over 140 career and technical programs. Go to uh, tri-c.edu uh, uh, to find out more information. Tri-C.edu is the place to check out. You can also follow us on Facebook, facebook.com uh, slash more sports and less Levine with new content posted each and every day. Terry Pluto and I return in a moment. We'll talk about Antonio Callaway and his suspension for Gamer by the NFL. More sports and less Levine continues exclusively on cleveland.com. Presque Downs and Casino now has sports betting. Use one of the 50 state-of-the-art Bet America kiosks to place your bet. Then watch your favorite games on our new HD televisions or visit our new sportsbook area. Only at Presque Isle Downs and Casino. The Ohio Lottery Partners in Education program has been recognizing role model students and teachers since 2007. To nominate a deserving teacher or student, go to ohiolottery.com. In the About section, find Supporting Education. There, you can nominate students in kindergarten through 12th grade as academic all-stars. Teachers can be honored as the Teacher of the Month. Every school that participates is eligible for the School of the Year. The Ohio Lottery Partners in Education, where stars shine. You know, he already has a support support system, and you know it, it continues to grow with us as players. You know, we stand up, stand behind Antonio. We hear for him whenever he wants to talk. We talk to him, whatever. You know, it's it's just the, the relationship that we have, and you know, everybody goes through things. You know, and they need people to be there for him, and we there for him. Are you hopeful he can turn this around and still have absolutely season for you guys. Absolutely, can't wait to have him back. Go ahead. What is it about him that makes you think he can? 
he can get this. I mean, the kid has he has all the abilities. He has all the tools to be um, a, a guy that can make plays at a high level. He has the speed, um, the catching ability, the, the the route running. You know, all those things. You know, and if we can get that all together, you know, I mean, he's going to be a hell of a player. Did you have an inkling that he was struggling in any way? Were you already kind of help helping him? Him up a bit. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean, we talked. Um, we talked. Uh, you know, didn't really have any true idea about what was really going on. But you know, we talked, and um, I think again, just being a support system, all the guys in the building, you know, from top to bottom, um, you know, being behind them and supporting them, and you know, helping them through this this, this tough time because it is a tough time for them, um, regardless of the fact, you know. Higgins has been around for a while now, and he's been kind of conspicuous in, in this camp. Uh, uh, what is uh, his, his game that might indicate, in addition to the fact that, that Beck and, and you are there to take heat off him? What, what, what um, in the overview, uh, might be different for him this year uh, and maybe give him a breakout year? Yeah, I mean, he made a lot of plays last year, you know, um, that I can still remember. He made plays out there today. He's been making plays throughout the training camp. He's definitely a guy that is going to help to help, to help us. Um, and he's going to make plays, and we trust and know that, and the Baker has to trust in him, and he has the confidence in himself to be able to make the plays when, when he's called. As an, ex, as an expert uh, in, uh, in the slot, uh, how would you grade him as a slot guy? Uh, uh, um, yeah, no, man, I think, I think Higgs shows his ver versatility. You know, he's, he's been playing a bit inside. He's been playing a bit outside. Um, so he's showing his versatility, showing that he could be more than a slot guy. I think all slot guys want to show that they can do more than play in the slot. So, um, so you know, he's been showing that, and he's been making plays. So. Do you feel like he's ready to kind of take that number three role and run with it if Callaway's not in there? Um, yeah, I mean, honestly, it's, it's the room is full of competition. You know, it's full of competition. I think um, everybody has an opportunity to, to play. Everybody's going to get an opportunity to make plays as well. So, you know, just for us, just think about it and looking at it. Again, when we start to scheme teams and things like that, you know, guys will be able to step into their role that way. And, you know, when they're called, they'll make the plays, I'm sure. Well, Terry, Terry, during the video, mm -hmm. you're watching it. You're watching the body language. What did you get from the body language? Well, when they were talking about Antonio Callaway, of course, you know, the player unity, we, we were to support Antonio. We want him to do well. But if you watch, he's almost like biting through his lip, and he's looking elsewhere. He would want to talk about that. Yeah, but because, he handled it well. Yes, he did, and that's what a veteran does. Right. But we've all been in that situation. You're asked something. You really want to say, I am tired of this guy screwing up, you know. <laughs> And well, they say it after when, yeah, the, when, when the guy's to, gone. Because really, remember, this is a guy who hasn't missed a game, Jarvis Landry. Right. He plays like 90% of the snaps. You know, He doesn't miss practice. Now they hold him out in preseason, partly because the last thing you want to do is have this guy get hurt right. uh, in a preseason game. But, uh, you know, Les, when you flunk the drug test at the combine, that is a horrible sign because they tell everybody who's going to the NBA Combine, drug test coming, drug test coming. Your agent tells you. The league tells you. In fact, the league doesn't even want guys to flunk. you got to kind of hit a high number on this one because um, it just looks bad for the league. Okay. Now, he, he, was, he had a, quote, diluted test. And please, let's stop with he just smokes a few joints or whatever. If they were doing that, you know, that would be hard to feel the team. These, these numbers on these tests, just like Josh Gordon used to say, it was, a, it was a Josh Gordon camp that kept saying it was only marijuana. Turned out later it was all kinds of things he was flunking it for. And remember, there was a reason Antonio Callaway didn't play his senior year at Florida, Florida. and it simply was not because he liked to smoke some weed. There was a lot of other there things more, going on more there. more stuff to that. So, yeah. All right, so here you have John Dorsey who brings on all comers, apparently. Uh, how, how far can you go with these guys? How many questionable characters? I even hate to say questionable character, but there are some guys who aren't following the straight and narrow. So how many how many can you have around? Not that many. I mean, you can have a couple, but not that many. In my mind, um, you know, I, I wouldn't have taken. I want you to think about this, Les. You're Antonio Callaway, all right? You get suspended at Florida. That means you don't play at all. And it wasn't just marijuana. So there was off-field incidents. There's all kinds of. There's police reports, stuff going on. The draft comes. You get picked in the fourth round. You get a $700,000 signing bonus. 
and your first year salary of 480000 which is pretty much That sounds guaranteed. like a million dollars. A million bucks. So you're telling Antonio, hey, man, and remember, you also flunked the test at the drug, you drug tech, the test, the, as they call it, the scouts call it, the idiot drug test. You know, don't be the guy that flunks the drug test at the combine. So the message is... It's almost is, like the SAT, just sign your name and the, get 400. Right, the message is mixed, Les. It's like, yeah, we're giving you another chance and you get a million dollars. Josh Gordon, it was the same thing. Flunked all these drug tests, got booted out of, uh, uh, out of uh, Baylor, couldn't get... It together at Utah, second round, the Browns, the Browns guaranteed him three million dollars. The signing bonus was a million eight. I don't get it. I don't get it. So the the question is now, what happens to Antonio Callaway? Well, as far know, as the Browns are concerned, and then on top of it, he was out of shape. Well, that came up later. No, but he, I I I asked what was wrong with him when I was down there. I thought he was looked. I thought he really looked lackadaisical. And if you remember, in, in part of the mini camps, he didn't. He only showed up for about half of them, the voluntary ones. That's true. There was a bunch of junk going on with him. So in my mind, you know, anything that, that looks remotely, uh, I've kind of like lost interest in him. I'm much more, you know, I'd rather see Jalen Strong and the rest of these guys. How about, you know, it's interesting to me, like this guy DJ Montgomery. They find this guy yeah. playing at Austin P. Right. I look, I don't look him up. Caught 42 passes last year, 10 for touchdowns. You know, he's made some nice catches, both in training camp right. out there. And, you know, the game is like, you know, yeah, obviously Antonio Callaway's got more talent. But I'm like what, more interested in this guy yeah. or Derek Willies or somebody. You know, for, I, I, these guys that flunked the drug test and everything at the combine, ugh. How's that? This portion of More Sports in Les <laughs> is brought to you by Northeast Factory Direct with three growth, great locations, West 140th in Cleveland, the old B&B Appliance on Lakeland Boulevard in Eastlake and, and Freeway Drive. That's in Macedonia. Check it out. Uh, you've been watching them on TV telling you uh, about the, the great st st uh, products they have. And uh, it's about half price, less than half price in most cases. There are no gimmicks, no deceiving blowout sales, no typical retail nonsense. Just three big bare-bones warehouses filled with the same stuff found at a number of stores. The only significant difference at Northeast Factory Direct, these items are priced at about half the regular price. Northfield Park, the place to go for live and simulcast racing. They've got it, uh, you see it every uh, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday at Northfield Park. And of course, uh, of course, it's open early every day for simulcast action. Weekly Sunday contest, top prize, $500 each week. Lady Lux Clubhouse open on Saturdays for a buffet for just $15.95. Free admission, free parking every day. That's at Northfield Park. Terry Pluto is going to be at a couple of uh, places in the next couple of weeks, a couple of libraries. You got uh, Niles McKinley. That's this Wednesday, right? Day after tomorrow. Yep. 6.30. Of course, admission is absolutely free. Then on uh, the 22nd of August, that's a Thursday. 6.30 will be at the Mayfield Library. At, uh, where is that? On Mayfield Road? Yeah, Mayfield, Road? Mayfield, Mayfield Library. You got it. Six. Now, that has not been named after ba Baker Mayfield yet. No. But that used first. to be right near where you live. Well, back in the day. Yes. 216-575-0403. We'll find out what Mike is thinking when we get back. Terry Pluto with us. More sports and less Levine continues exclusively on Cleveland.com. No other company or product can match the features, benefits, and warranty of an authentic Nature Stone floor. We had a horrible storm that flooded our basement. We had to take out that nasty, moldy carpet. And we never want to have to go through that again. That's when we called Nature Stone. And with Russell's promise, our true unconditional warranty, you will never have to replace your basement flooring again. Get Nature Stone installed by the end of August and save up to 50%. Schedule your free cost estimate easily online today at naturestone.com. It's not just a floor. Wow, it's Nature Stone. There are tastes we remember. Every smell brings the happiness of times gone by. Experience this every time you walk into Gallucci's Italian Foods. Whether you need lunch on the go, a catered party, or that perfect blend of wine, meats, and cheeses, Gallucci's has exactly what you're looking for. Straight from Mama's Kitchen, for old world traditions or original experiences. From the tastes you remember to new flavors you'll never forget, Gallucci's is a tasty branch of your family tree. When it comes to selling you a mattress, most retailers are handing you a line, a long line of extra steps that drive up costs and create confusion. 
At the Original Mattress Factory, we simplify the mattress shopping experience by building mattresses and box springs in our own local factories and selling them direct to you. It's short, sweet, and simply makes sense. So experience more than just the mattress store. Experience an original, the Original Mattress Factory. Birthdays for today, Christy Matthewson. Do you remember what a great pitcher he was? I did. I covered him. I covered him also. It was a good interview. Sidewinder in 1947. That he was Adam Simber. He was not Adam as good. Simber's struggling, by the way. Yes. Yeah. You, I think with that lineup, you get a little bit off with something. Yeah. George McGinnis seen on the left. What a terrific player mm -hmm. he was back in the a ABA days and then played with the Sixers. And uh, Chris Middleton, I'm saying uh, Plaxico Burris and Chris Middleton and Hunter Wood, who had a big save uh, just the other day for the Indians. The Indians were excited when they got him. They thought, you know, how they get these guys you never heard of or barely right. heard of, and they kind of plug them into those middle That's really, innings. they're really good at that. They are. And Hunter Wood, because I remember uh, talking to Antonetti right after, I go, who's this Hunter Wood guy? He goes, oh, we like him. He said, you'd watch. It, it may not be till fully next year, but he's going to be a part of that bullpen. Time for a how come quickie. How come every time you try to reach a business, it tells you all of its options have changed? <laughs> Wouldn't you like to just get somebody who answers the phone and say, press two like you did six months ago? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, the thing is, you push a button, and then you get another push a button. Yeah, exactly. Let's uh, push a button and say hi to Mike Massetta from Nature Zone, who is on the line. Mike, how are you? I'm doing well, that's how are you doing? Good, Terry Pluto with us tonight. Uh, are you getting tired hey, of all these time. Are you getting tired of all these wins by the Indians and, and Tyler Naquin <laughs> who doesn't know how to bunt but does know how to relay? <laughs> and he hits I, pretty I, well. I, I haven't too. seen any of the Indians put a bunt down well except for uh, Greg Allen the other that, day. Greg Allen was, that was unbelievable. All he wanted to do is get the guys over to second Although and third. I saw him mess up one about two weeks yeah, ago. Yeah, he too. messed one up too. Oh yeah. 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 They need a That's bunting. A they need. They need a bunting coach. <laughs> Why not? They got one of everything else. They yeah. do have one. <laughs> Mike's right. They do have one of it. If you watch these guys, these teams now. Do you know something? Yes. When the Indians are on defense and they're out on the field and they show the dugout, I can't remember the last time I saw Sandy Alomar. What does he do during the innings? When the Indians, I think he just sits there. It's first base coach. Never so. seen him. Yeah. I mean, obviously, you see him on the field when the but Indians But you really don't see the hitting coaches. I mean, they're No, that's of, true. You know, that's true. Yeah, so they showed somebody. You see said, Willis, the Willis and then uh, Mills. Mills. That's, that's about, about it. it. Once in a while, you see Sarbaugh, like, waving the thing. Like, right. Move to the left, move to the right. That's Stand like, up, sit down, fight, <laughs> yeah. fight, fight. All right, Mike, yeah. you're getting tired of all these wins, aren't you? You're getting tired of watching oh. Baker Mayfield take the team down in seven plays. I hate that when that happens. Really, that it, was phenomenal. How about the fact <laughs> they had told Washington they were going to do mm. that? So the, the, the last pass that he threw over the linebacker, in between the linebacker and the safety, and, and, and the corner was on the side, that was such a phenomenal pass. I know they're playing vanilla defenses, right. and you know it, it, he, he should be able to do that if he's going to be an elite quarterback. But to, to just thread the needle like that to, to a receiver who really wasn't wide open. I mean, he was, yeah. he was uh, uh, covered you know, in that, that whatever zone defense that they, that they run in the NFL. And, I mean, that was just a, just a phenomenal pass. But, uh, and it's they, not they, like it's midseason well. form because they're not in midseason yet, and yet he was right on the money. And yeah. he, didn't have, oh, yeah. he didn't have the, uh, uh, the other, his first teamers out there to but draw remember, them away. he loves Higgins. <laughs> and Higgins, he loves Higgins is his guy, yeah. you know, because from the second team. And he likes Higgins, too, Mike, because probably kind of, you'd like to have a guy like you would hire like Higgins. Remember, they, they took all those guys who were receivers, four receivers in the 2016 draft. He was the lowest one picked, and he is the survivor. Yeah. Yeah, he works his butt off. He's tall, too. He's a big guy. Mm -hmm. he, he, he runs really good routes. Um, there's going to be a third receiver on this team who flourishes because of the big two on the oh, outside. Oh, yeah. They're going to be doubled sure. and tripled yeah. and all kinds of stuff. Yeah. There's going to be I thought and it was going to be Callaway. But, but he, he's got some off-the-field stuff. And he didn't I'm come not sure you'd want to hire Antonio Callaway. He's probably going to be the guy. Yeah, and, and with the precision of uh, Baker Mayfield, you know, we, I was on 92.3 The Fan uh, today, and all people are talking about is getting a better second-string quarterback. If you have to worry about a second-string yeah. quarterback, you've got more problems than you can imagine. You, yeah. can't, 
You can't set up assuming Baker, May Baker Mayfield is going to get hurt. And by the way, every franchise in the league is in trouble if they lose their starting quarterback. Well, 12 of the franchises probably want a starting quarterback. I'm serious. Oh, they're, yeah. They're just sitting there waiting for the next draft sure. or whatever. So, I mean, oh, we got to get a really good backup. Yeah, it would be nice, but since only about 15 to 18 teams have good starters. Yeah, that, that was the point I was trying to make. And, and Stanton is functional, but you, you, only, you need a guy for maybe the, uh, the rest of a game if Baker gets hurt and maybe one more game. After that, you, you're in trouble anyway, no matter who you have as a backup. Isn't it nice to be sitting here worrying about a backup quarterback <laughs> and who's going to be your starting place kicker? Right, right. <laughs> and those, those are the two biggest question marks on your team this year. Well, well, and the, well, back, it is, and the backup running like back to season. Chubb. Are you, and the backup yeah. to Chubb now, now yeah. that you, you, got, uh, you got rid of Duke Johnson. I mean, these are nice problems to well, have, right? Yeah, that's when you, yeah. That, really, that's when you know your roster's good. Now the team has to be good, but that's when you know the roster's right. good. What, what do you, Terry, yeah. what do you think the yeah. kicking thing is going to come down to? I have no idea. Well, I think the, the preseason games are going to tell you a lot. Right. Cause you could try all this junk, you know, the, the practice field, but uh, I mean, we saw thing. it the other day. There, Greg Joseph gets out there, who had only missed three field goals last year, missed four extra points, and banged one off the. He keeps hitting the post. Well, they said today there was a bad snap. Or, you, Do you know, know how he got hard to it is to hit the post. <laughs> Mike, isn't that hard? <laughs> no, to hit the yeah, and he, he, he keeps does it doing consistently. It. I, and, he, and he misses more extra points than he does field goals. Exactly field right. And I don't and I don't understand. I mean, these guys in the NFL, if you're not hitting that 90, 92% of your field goals, you might as well not even, you know, not even shoot up. Yeah, I mean, occasionally. So, that's everybody. All the NFL kickers are that good. They should have yeah. kept Bill Dawson is what they should have Yeah, for all those years. They, and... they signed him and he retired. They should have just kept him. <laughs> did, did you hear, I heard Doug Deacon talking about it because of the intricacies of the NFL. Uh, he was supposed to get his uh, uh, his retirement papers yeah. and money and w out the door stuff. And because he signed for one day, he's got to wait six months for those papers to come through. <laughs> oh. oh, yeah, yeah. The guy played what thirty years in the NFL. Yeah. He's got to yeah. wait six months. To get I mean, right. that's 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 the same guy that designed the uh, salary cap. Probably came up with that. Yeah, I, I don't yeah. know. All right, now how about the tribe? What are you thinking here, Mike? Well, you know, it's it's same same thing. You know, they. They, they went in, it, it, their pitching is, is phenomenal. Um, you know, I know Brad Hand had a little hiccup there in the ninth inning, but he's going to have that. He's had um, three or four hiccups lately. Yeah, yeah, but that, that's, that's going to happen. I, I, I think he'll, he'll be okay. You can't be that good all year, all year long. You're going you're gonna to have a slump. There's no question he's going he's gonna to be fine, I think, in, in, at least in my opinion. Mike do, you think, Mike, do you think and, on, on hand, I think they've ridden them pretty hard, too. Cause yeah. They've had yeah. more than the one inning saves, and this is the the one negative thing about starting twenty nine and thirty is from about I would say late June on. It's almost like you're playing pennant race baseball. Where you're trying to win well, all the games you, you can. Know, you know, you hear these guys say we don't care about you know the games in April and May. Well, you should care about them because that's one less game you gotta you gotta win when things get tough in August and September. Right, because it puts all that the the pressure on here, and it, and so. Um, you know, Frank Cunha's not afraid to use his closer a lot. Right. And well, man, answer, man, both of you guys answered this for me. It looks to me like in the last few games, Hand is just kind of flinging it up there yeah. with no idea where it's going. Am I seeing that correctly, Mike? His slider is really out of control. Yeah, that, yeah his, his slider's not biting the way that it was early mm. in the year, and his fastball's flat. So yeah. when, when, and you saw that with Cody Allen, quite frankly, in the last couple of years. When, yeah. you're, when, you, when, you don't, when your fastball's flat and there's no movement on it, and you're not hitting your spots with it, that's when the big league hit, hitters can hit it unless you throw 100 miles an hour yeah. like Chapman does. Yeah, but, but in his, his yeah, case, but, when in his case, it looks like he's he's frustrated and he's just throwing it up there well, hoping, I, hoping it sure hits home. And the other thing to keep in mind, I'm not saying it's an excuse, but it's an interesting thing. You know, he's from Minnesota. You never, it doesn't look yeah. like you. And now apparently was the first time he's pitched up there. Oh, is uh, that right? Yes. Well, yeah, he's in the National League. Yeah, National League. Yeah. So. Uh, that was a big weekend for him, but I but I was just thinking about that, not just with him, but a lot of these other guys. Uh, and Francona had to play it this way to get back into race. Yeah, no question. I mean, no he, question. there's nothing. When you're 29, 30, you know, every game's a big game. Yeah. All right, Mike. Yeah. Anything uh, to wrap things up here? No, just uh, there's a big another big series with Boston. You know, they, they they've got to continue to take these series two out of three, three out of four type type games. They're in a dog fight, guys. It's just because they had a great series against no, Minnesota sure. and they've won all these games in a row. That was they're them. still tied with them, and the 
wild card is yeah. still in jeopardy. So they've still got to keep winning. They've still got to keep doing what they're doing. No question about it. Wow, it's nature stone. <laughs> wow, it's nature stone. There you go. Mike, <laughs> thanks so much. We'll talk to you soon. Mike Mosetta. Hey, okay. Take care. Take care, Mike. Mike Mosetta, whose grandfather, by the way, was maybe the greatest shortstop in the history of Cleveland softball. Really? Yaya Mosetta. Well, I love that so, name, too. It's a great name, no question about it. He's in the Greater Cleveland Sports Hall of Fame, and so will another six people coming up on Wednesday, September 18th at Landerhaven. You've got the list right there. Otis Chapman, racquetball. Uh, John Malloy, hockey. is talking to Andy Baskin about him. Uh, Tony Miller, of course, you recognize him. Basketball and football. Tom Lucci in tennis. Urban Meyer will be inducted. Yeah. And uh, Rob Moss from golf. All at uh, the Greater Cleveland Sports Hall of Fame. Wednesday, September 18th. Tickets at 216-241-1919. Or go to admin at clevelandsportshall.com. That'll be the 18th of September. The Voice of Truth and Reason is where you can find us when we're not here. We're here from 6 until 7 Eastern Time, Monday through Friday. And you can call us any other time and leave a message as Ron did tonight by calling 216-200-6650. That's 216-200-6650. We'll break down the Browns preseason so far and more when we get back. More Sports and Les Levine continues exclusively on Cleveland.com. As a kid growing up, my dream was to go to college, play baseball, and get a degree. Coming out of high school, I had two choices. I was accepted into a four-year university, but I decided to come to Tri-C after receiving a scholarship. I got my associate's degree at Tri-C. They transferred all my credits straight into Baldwin-Wallace, so I started at Baldwin-Wallace University as a junior. My name is Tyler Leonard, and I earned my first degree at Tri-C. The Ohio Lottery Partners in Education program has been recognizing role model students and teachers since 2007. To nominate a deserving teacher or student, go to ohiolottery.com. In the About section, find Supporting Education. There, you can nominate students in kindergarten through 12th grade as academic all-stars. Teachers can be honored as the Teacher of the Month. Every school that participates is eligible for the School of the Year. The Ohio Lottery Partners in Education, where stars shine. It takes attention to detail. With your local Bryant dealer, you're getting more than just a technician. You're getting someone who pays attention to your needs and the little things that make a big difference. It takes a dealer you can rely on. And to keep your family cool this summer, let me show you how this works. It takes Bryant. Bryant, whatever it takes. And to keep your family comfortable, it takes Smiley One Heating and Cooling. Find them at 440-449-HEAT. This has been a pretty tough camp for these guys. I think it's been kind of a culture shock, but I think they've embraced it. Um, we've got a lot of guys that are willing to pay the price, all right? So uh, we understand that now. They've, a lot of guys have bought in uh, to what we're trying to do. Um, now it's just a matter of going and, and seeing what you've got up against someone else, you know? Um, this Wednesday and Thursday is not gonna make or break our season, but it's gonna give us a little barometer on where we're at from a physical standpoint. So Are you were saying it's been a culture shock. Did you want to do something to find out how many guys out here were willing to pay the price? I didn't. Oh, definitely. I said that at the very beginning. Um, but again, our guys, I think, have embraced that. I mean, they've embraced the, the challenge of, of keeping um, the tempo up on a regular basis. At the end of the day, this is the only op When you get into the season, you are allowed one day a week with pads on. So this is the time that you have to build some of that toughness. And I think they've embraced that uh, from the standpoint of, uh, they know this is a, a, you know, again, this is a tough game played by tough people. Um, so sometimes you have to 
and you, you have to look inside yourself and make sure that you're tough. And sometimes you have to demonstrate that to realize that you are. Uh, and I think they've embraced all that. Hey, Brendan, uh, we saw those two picks and uh, that close in May. So, but what else is he doing to um, to show you that he's going to be a reliable player for you? Yeah, I think he's getting better. He's getting. He's not there yet, and uh, I would think he'd be the first to tell you. Um, He's not there yet, but I want him to keep getting better in all areas. Uh, you know, he's a good cover guy. That's why he's here, uh, or that's one of the reasons he's here. And then I expect him to be able to stop the run, too. At that position, you've got to kind of be a jack-of-all-trades, and, and that's what we want our linebackers doing. It, when you go up to Indy, are there a couple of specific things you're looking to accomplish? In that thing? Uh, not in particular. Just I want, I want to see how we react to going on the road for the first time, you know? It's just simply you're, you're sleeping in a hotel in a different city and you're playing against different people. You're practicing against different people. Um, you know, that can just that aspect in itself can go a long ways to, to giving you practice at when we travel. You know, we travel the second game of the year. So, um, you know, everything surrounding, I don't have any problem with, um, you know, the competition. I think the competition's going to be there. Uh, if it's not, we've got some of the wrong people. Uh, but uh, what I am looking forward to is how do we respond to distractions? Because you guys have built several distractions, you know? So uh, don't take offense, goodness. <laughs> but you understand what I'm saying? I mean, everybody wants to talk about distractions and expectations. Well, hell, let's see how we do under some distractions. This portion of uh, More Sports and Less Levine brought to you by Northeast Factory Direct. Three great locations, Lakeland Boulevard and East Lake, the old uh, freeway uh, drive that's in Macedonia, as well as West 140th in Cleveland, or go to uh, northeastfactory.com for more information. All right, Terry, uh, I, I told you I had a conversation with Freddie mm -hmm. Kitchens today, and I brought up the, uh, Andy Baskin and I brought up the Ohio State-Alabama game of 1995. He did not know we were going to ask him. He rattled off every stat from that game. I heard that. I was yeah. listening to that. I was Pretty curious. impressive. It is, because he certainly remembers a lot more than I do yeah. on that. And <laughs> I had to check and say, who was the quarterback? Oh, Hoying. You know, and I like that kind of charm. It is sort of the country charm. The you know, now y'all don't 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 get take offense. Right. You know, is that but he was kind of making his point. He, it, to me, this idea of how physical to do this for training camp is really tricky for coaches. Yeah, you can't get guys hurt. You can't get them hurt. I think he would rather have Odell Beckham and these guys playing in pads and getting hit some in his practices than in a preseason okay. game because you're in more control there, you know. Well, then, now they're going to Indianapolis, and that supposedly is a controlled scrimmage, right. but you never know what's going to happen. Right, they're, they're, I'd be curious to see how much. I mean, Odell Beckham has missed 16 of the last 32 games, 16 of the last 32, a variety of injuries. To me... Well, I don't think we're going to see him a whole lot in any of these preseason games. No, I agree with that. No question about that. Uh, Alex, the owner of Northeast Factory Direct, he's uh, got a place, three places actually. If you're not paying, you're not paying for the fancy uh, furnishings. You're not paying for anything. It's just three big old places, big old warehouses, and all they do is say pass the savings on to you. And uh, it's important. This is not a club. This is no membership fees. People are great, and they're going to help you, and you're not going to be harassed. That's at Northeast Factory Direct with three great locations in Northeast Ohio. We'll take a break. We'll come on back in a moment. Sokolowski's University Inn. There you go. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> there you go. All they have done is when the uh, They teams... don't need training camp. They're no. arguing for the regular season. Uh, lunch. Uh, listen, all they do is lunch 11 to 3, Monday through Friday. Dinner, Friday and Saturday night, starting at 4. They, that's good enough to win the James Beard Foundation Award. Only five in the country get it each and every year. And Sokolowski's the only one from the city of Cleveland that has ever received the James Beard Foundation Award. We'll come on back. We'll talk about the uh, competition of right guard. The Browns uh, need that, obviously. they got to keep their quarterback on his feet. We'll do that and come back in a moment uh, exclusively on Cleveland.com. No other company or product can match the features, benefits, and warranty of an authentic Nature Stone floor. I had an epoxy-based sand paint on my floor that deteriorated, and that's why I called Nature Stone. Why paint? It's expensive, it's ugly, and it doesn't last. Nature Stone is always affordable. It's beautiful, and with Russell's promise, our true unconditional warranty, you will never have to replace your garage floor again. Get Nature Stone installed by the end of August and save up to 50%. It's not just a floor. Wow, it's Nature Stone. When it comes to selling you a mattress, most retailers are handing you a line. 
a long line of extra steps that drive up costs and create confusion. At the Original Mattress Factory, we simplify the mattress shopping experience by building mattresses and box springs in our own local factories and selling them direct to you. It's short, sweet, and simply makes sense. So experience more than just the mattress store. Experience an original, the Original Mattress Factory. Presque Downton Casino now has sports betting. Use one of the 50 state-of-the-art Bet America kiosks to place your bet. Then watch your favorite games on our new HD televisions or visit our new sportsbook area. Only at Presque Isle Downs and Casino. You never know when it's your time to get called. And, you know, he's getting some consistency playing center right now. He's been the backup center the last few days. You guys have seen that. But, um, but just keep improving. Work on one thing every day. You know, you can't work on ten different things because you're not going to improve on anything. So work on one thing every day and have fun with it. You know, I told him, I'm like, you're a good football player. Like, like have fun playing the game. Don't stress about things. And, you know, he goes out there, and, and when he has fun and, and moves around, you know, I thought he did some really good things in the game when he was playing center. You know, he made some good calls and, and, and had some good blocks. And it's just keep working on that, keep developing that. And, and he keeps it set up. He's not in a bad mood by any means. He's still working, and he, he knows he's going to get a shot at some point. I mean, you never, you never struggled with starting, right? I mean, you walked right into the starting job. Do you see how that would be tough to keep up with the confidence, especially, I mean, high pick and a lot of expectations? Yeah, it's uh, it's one of those things, you know, everybody comes into different situations. But I think the good players, you know, he, he's a mentally tough guy. You know, he was a walk-on at Nevada. He sat his way at Nevada, and he, um, you know, he grew. And I think he's just using the time to just keep picking his brain. And, and we really don't know what's going to happen. You know, we still have three preseason games. We still got a lot of practice to go. And um, and he's going to he's gonna be all right. He's still on the right path. And, and I know he's focused on just trying to improve one thing every day. How do you think this Uh, it's definitely a little different. I think he played left guard his whole, I mean, left tackle his whole career at Nevada. And then, so he's been on the left side for five years. And then you kind of switch, switch sides. It's different. You know, I was never asked to play on the right side. Um, so I don't really know from experience. You know, I played a little right side in college, but it's a whole different ball game. I know personally for me, I feel more comfortable on the left. Just, I don't know if that's because of repetition or just my body's built that way. But there's, there's definitely differences. You know, you're, you're putting your right hand down. You're posting, you know, with your left foot on the right side. Um, you're bracing with your right foot on the right side. So it's it's definitely different. You know, it takes time to, to learn that. How do you think Cush is doing with this opportunity? He's been the guy for more than a week now. Yeah, he's uh, he's been a, around the NFL, so he has some experience. You know, he has some game experience. You know, he played a little bit more in the game, and and um, he showed some good stuff, though. You know, he's a good pass protector. He um, he works hard, and, and he has a great attitude every day. You know, he. Uh, he comes and he has fun with it, and he loves playing the game of football. But um, he's done well so far, and you know I think he's getting the reps right now because he has. Do you hope that it's solved sooner than later? Like, do you have because I know that nonverbal communication is big yeah. in the footwork. Huh? Yeah, I mean, if if he's the guy, you know, and him and Hub can get as many of these reps as possible. But if if someone else shows up and says, "Hey, I'm the best right guard for this team," we want to get that guy in there as well. So that's Joel Batonio mm -hmm. talking about Austin Corbett, talking about Eric Cush, uh, Kyle Coolis, uh, uh, Coolis from St. Edge. Kyle Coolis, uh, rather, yeah. Yeah, he had the concussion the other night. Yeah. So it, it looks to me like Cush is the for, front runner, unless they're just still trying all combinations. Oh no, I think you don't play him a lot there at this point, unless you think he's going to be your guy. The interesting thing to me is uh, heavy doses of Corbett at center. And that's one of two things that's going on there. One is that, you know, Treader did play last year with a really bad ankle sprain. Treader's reputation in Green Bay was that he was injury prone. That was part of the reason the Packers let him go. And remember, this front office 
was up in Green Bay right. with him. So they, they, they know that image. Yeah, so that's one. I think they want to make sure they have a center ready to go. Secondly, he's going to be a free agent at the end of the year, and I don't think they want to pay him $10 million. Right. Northfield Park, your home for live and simulcast racing. Catch the excitement of live harness racing. You can do that every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday with the post time of 6 p.m., but they're open early at noon every day for simulcast action. you got the weekly Sunday contest, top prize $500 each week, and the Bud Light patio parties every Friday through the month of September. Stop by the outdoor patio every Friday from 6 until 9. Enjoy the beer specials, the outdoor grilling, and chances to win great prizes, cash, as well as gift certificates, and you can enter all kinds of contests. All at Northfield Park, where it's free admission, free parking every day. We'll come back. We've got some How Come Quickies. We've got more. We'll get to some of your email responses. Terry Pluto with us exclusively on Cleveland.com. No other company or product can match the features, benefits, and warranty of an authentic Nature Stone floor. We had a horrible storm that flooded our basement. We had to take out that nasty, moldy carpet. And we never want to have to go through that again. That's when we called Nature Stone. And with Russell's Promise, our true unconditional warranty, you will never have to replace your basement flooring again. Get Nature Stone installed by the end of August and save up to 50%. Schedule your free cost estimate easily online today at naturestone.com. It's not just a floor. Wow, it's Nature Stone. There are tastes we remember. Every smell brings the happiness of times gone by. Experience this every time you walk into Gallucci's Italian Foods. Whether you need lunch on the go, a catered party, or that perfect blend of wine, meats, and cheeses, Gallucci's has exactly what you're looking for. Straight from Mama's Kitchen, for old world traditions or original experiences. From the tastes you remember to new flavors you'll never forget, Gallucci's is a tasty branch of your family tree. The Ohio Lottery Partners in Education program has been recognizing role model students and teachers since 2007. To nominate a deserving teacher or student, go to ohiolottery.com. In the About section, find Supporting Education. There, you can nominate students in kindergarten through 12th grade as academic all-stars. Teachers can be honored as the Teacher of the Month. Every school that participates is eligible for the School of the Year. The Ohio Lottery Partners in Education, where stars shine. Tomorrow night, Bud Shaw joins us from WKYC.com. You see us live from 6 until 7 p.m. Eastern Time. And, of course, uh, you can archive any uh, show that we've had in the past or that particular day, all at uh, Cleveland.com. You can also follow us on Facebook, Facebook.com slash More Sports and Les Levine. New content posted each and every day. Let's take a look at this day in sports history brought to you by Smiley One. Major League Baseball players go on strike in 1994 when it looked like Cleveland and Montreal would meet in the World Series, and Terry, it never happened. Never happened, no. It was supposed to, but it didn't happen. That was the first year of Jacobs Field, what was then Jacobs Field. Let's take a look at this, this date in Les Levine history. 1987, Terry, while coaching a Little League team, Les has to explain the infield fly rule to one of the umpires. Another umpire didn't like the gestures that he was making, and he threw Les out of the game. I could understand that. Well, the umpire, come on, I don't care if he's a kid, has got to know the infield fly rule. What, the part you know about what? the fly going by? Yeah, you know, you know what I hear mostly? Well, why do they do that? Well, it's very simple. You drop the fly ball, pop up, and turn it into a double play. Yes, you can. All right, uh, here we go. With even in t-ball. Even in t-ball. Here's the uh, Facebook question of the day. What's more impressive, erasing an 11-and-a-half game deficit or winning 22 games in a row? The first. The first, which is the 11-and-a-half game deficit. Because... Um, what that does is should be very demoralizing to most teams. That team and, and that won the 22 in a row was in first place, was a pretty good team, and then they just got going, you know, even better. Well, and remember, Luke, this 11 and a half game deficit, look at Les. They've had 12 different starting pitchers this in year. In the 11 wins? In the 11 game? No, no, oh, in the whole no, year. This, the Indians at this point. I wow. looked it up the last time. The Indians used 12 different starting pitchers. They lost 97 games with Maniaca. Oh don't you wish you were there? No, I don't. Ted Moon says, considering the entire world except the select few counted our tribe out, by far making it making up 11 and a half yeah. with 12 starters in Tito, I trust. That away, Ted, you're reading me. Glenn Berger says, as much as erasing an 11 and a half de game deficit against a great offensive team like the Twins is remarkable. Winning 22 in a row, something that no other team yeah, has done, true. is simply amazing. 22 games is just one month worth of ball games. 
It's true. Uh, before we get to how come quickies here, I want to mention the uh, personal we'll appearances that you have. We got one more. Yes, Lawrence Butler. Oh, Lawrence Butler. Butler. Yeah, we have Lawrence Butler there. This year is particularly impressive. They had no bullpen, no outfield, and Kluber, Carrasco, Clevenger were out. Many of the, had them dead and that uh, and buried, and that included me. Yeah. I'm with Lawrence on that. I, I thought this was going to be just one of those years that they'd be lucky to be 500 and you end up selling off guys, all that stuff, and here we are. Okay, so where are you going to be uh, all right, Wednesday? On Wednesday night, 6.30, the Niles McKinley Library. 6.30, Wednesday night, and on May 22nd in Les's old neighborhood, I'll be at the Mayfield Library, May, um, August 22nd. It's a Thursday night, 6.30. Actually, I, coming to both. I was a Lynn Hurstian, Lynn. but I'm proud to be part, very near to Mayfield. All right. I got some how come quickies. Okay. Big Ed says, how come Wiley Coyote had enough money to buy all that Acme stuff? Why didn't he just buy himself dinner? That's a really good point. How come we don't get I, that's nervous? That's a very good well, point. Well, all right, I'm putting it up there on all the right. wall. How come they don't get, we don't get nervous when doctors call what they do practice? Yeah, I know. Practice? Yeah, practice. Mr. Gullible is on a uh, worldwide tour of baseball parks, okay. uh, major league and minor league. He's coming back tomorrow. He's, uh, he's calling it, his name is Mr. Gullible, but he's calling it Gull Gullible's Travels. I like that. All right, he has a how come quickie or two. Maybe you'll see the Acme company. Maybe. How come I heard the boss is going to fire the employee with the worst posture, and I have a hunch it might be me? All right. How come Cinderella was thrown off the basketball team because she ran away with the ball? Uh, I thought there would be a shoe line in there somewhere, but I don't know what it is. Well, here we have John Patrick checking in. Yes. How come I have two left feet so I wear flip-flips? <laughs> <laughs> How come? This is a strong day for these. This is a strong day. Normally we have the the guest uh, judge them, give them a number. But, yeah, but uh, no, this is just a strong day. We didn't talk day. about it beforehand. Well, also, I, I, I do think, because it's a profound question about life, the yes. Wiley Coyote one. Yes. If you have enough money to buy bombs and everything else, you should be able to get, like, you know, a Roadrunner burger without having to kill yeah. the Roadrunner. One would think. Yes. One would think. I got about a minute. All right. Uh, Fire to away. clean up some business. The other guy in that trade, that Lucroy, that fell apart, uh, Francisco Mejia, and that's the player the Indians used to get Brad Hand and Adam Simber. So right. had he gone in that deal along with Greg Allen, uh, you would not be seeing, uh, I think the team would not be as no, good as I, it is I now. No, I think he hit his eighth home run last night. Allen? I think, no, yeah. um, uh, Mejia. Mejia. So they've had problems with him defensively and what to do with him. But, you know, what getting Hand... Last year and this year, save the bullpen. I know he's had a couple of rocky times less, but who you know? Who do you want to close? If it's not you him, you know what else? The, either the Indians or Francona. Somebody knows when a pitcher has lost it. Yeah, they've been sensational. The front whether office, it's Brian Shaw, whether it's yeah, they they they. That's why they Cody don't like Allen. to give uh, very long contracts to relievers. And you can go back to Chris Perez. You right. know, they've always been really guarded on closers because it's like all of a sudden it's just gone, and they can't. Yeah, they don't get it back. It. Yeah, or, the, you know, if they come back, they come back kind of a lesser form of themselves. Well, that and a lot of the save situations, you figure that's great. You know, they've gotten 28 of yeah. 31. But the reality is sometimes you're facing 8, 9, and 1. You're not always facing 3, 4, and 5. Yeah, the, although I will just say this, having talked to a bunch of these guys over there, it is rough when you walk in that locker room and you blew the game. Oh, no question. It, it just, nothing Get else compares. Get me back out there. Nothing else compares to yeah. it, you know. Well, no, I tell you what does missing a field goal on a long distance trip. Yeah, it's the same. Th you're absolutely right, yeah. Wes. It's you're you're paid to do one thing. Yeah, kick it, kick it. Or like a friend of mine, she she loves baseball. She goes three outs. All he's got to do is get three <laughs> outs. Yeah, like fifteen pitches. There's Goodbye. nobody on base. Yeah, there's <laughs> nobody on base. Just yeah. do it. You know. All right, that'll do it for us. Indians against the Red Sox tonight. The in, the Browns against Indianapolis four o'clock. That's on Saturday. Thanks to Terry Pluto. Does a great job here as well as on uh, Cleveland.com and the Plain Dealer. We'll see you tomorrow night with Bud Shaw of all the shows I've ever done. This was the most recent. <laughs>